Good morning and how are you today? Welcome to my channel and my name is Sussex Sandra. So today, Bank Holiday Monday, I thought I would do something slightly different. So I thought today I would do two videos and the first video is going to be using products from my August beauty boxes. Admittedly, I still haven't received one of my beauty boxes this month and that's the mop box. The mop box. Why do I have so much difficulty in saying that? That's a, that's the makeup only please box, but that doesn't normally come until like the 28th of the month. So I thought, oh, let me just use all the other boxes I've had this month and see what products from those I can use. So that's my first video. And the second video, showing you the products that I have, that have been my favorites, which I've been reaching for a lot during this summer. I thought I would do a favorites video every season so let's crack on and do this month's beauty box products and see how if if i can use some of these products so the first product i'm going to be using is something that came in this month's glossy box so the august glossy box and i haven't used it yet it's a let's pre glam sheet mask so it's a party sheet mask so this came in the box i'll put the details of this product up above but it came in the glossy box this month and i thought yeah i'll give this one a go so it's um it's a pre-glam party party let's pre-glam perfecting sheet mask with hyaluronic acid so and it contains one sheet mask uh, and yeah i thought i'd put that on they say to put this on um get glamour go party it's what the beauty vloggers are buzzing about prep prep with a mask before you apply for totally flawless makeup inspired by K Beauty, so Korean beauty. Um, this skin nourishing mask helps hugs and contours like a second skin for insta complexion perfection. Um, they say prep first, wash and dry face completely, then unfold the sheet mask and put on face for and leave on for 15 minutes. Remove mask stage three, um, but don't rinse. Massage any excess product into skin okay um i'm wondering if i should put my toner on first i don't know how does this work what do you think because i've literally just washed my face so uh, oh, i'm gonna put my toner on first i hope that's right and then we'll go from there I'll tell you what i'll use this one this came in the i think it was in the asos beauty box so the toner I'm going to be using is this one from Road Dial. I have been using it, I don't know if you can see, so I'm already down to there on the box. And literally I just spray this on my face, let it sink on my face for a bit, and then I will put the sheet mask on. It's also got hyaluronic acid in, so hyaluronic tonic. So yeah, I'll put some of this on. So quick spray first. And I'll let that sink in. And then I'll put the sheet mask on. So let's see, so we open this up, oops, oh god, very um, moist, okay, so it looks like this, I have to be careful, every time I open these things up I always tear them, so let's see if I can do this without ripping it apart, I'm a bit cat candid when it comes to things like this, oh god, I can see I'm doing that already, <laughs> I can't open it, right, let's have a look, oh here we go. Then we've got the nose flap, so that faces that way. Right. So let's put this on. Right, there we go. Looking fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, I'm back. So I've been wearing this for about 20 minutes. So just realized I didn't uh, cover this side of my face, but my face is big, so it's not gonna cover all of my face. Let's take this off. Ooh, all right. So they say don't rinse, just rub everything in. So let's do that. Right. I'm gonna leave this to just dry on my face a little bit because I can't really put anything else on until this is all dried in. Right, okay, so the mask has dried in as much as it, it can. It's left my skin feeling very moisturized, which is great. But again, for those of you who don't know, I have got very oily skin, so I'm a little bit worried about the long lasting effects of this for the rest of the day. But I'm not going anywhere special today. I'm literally just going to be pottering around the area. I might go to the park later with my niece, but I'm not gonna be doing 
much today so I don't really have to worry about looking an oily mess later on but my skin does feel very moisturized um, yeah it just it does feel nice it's the kind of thing I probably would like to wear I'd like to put on at night time before going to bed rather than for me in the daytime so this is fine so that was the mask next is a moisturizer so we got this moisturizer in the pink parcel for august and it's a seba med clear face mattifying cream it was only a small size but i actually quite like it i've been wearing it since i've got it i've been wearing it every day basically because as i said i have got very oily skin and this has actually been quite mattifying so it's actually been quite a nice moisturizer for me to wear it's almost acted almost like a, a primer because it has dried down to that nice tacky dry feel which i like in my primer so this has actually been quite good so i'm hoping this might take away some of that shine of the mask but i don't think it's going to this is the kind of product if i didn't receive so many beauty boxes i would repurchase again just bring it up closer so you can see it i would repurchase this product again but because i have got so many skincare products and moisturizers to use um i'm not but if you have got oily skin and you do want to moisturize your skin this is one i'd actually recommend it's it's actually been really nice using this it's actually nearly finished but um yeah i have enjoyed using it the last couple of weeks so yeah good stuff this yeah my, my skin still looks really oily okay so so that's that product we got a we got a primer i can't remember which box we got this primer in let me have a quick look and see which box we got this in right i haven't got the card for this still so we either got this in a pink parcel or i've got this in the asos beauty box if you've got oily skin this would be a nice primer to use and if you've got pores that you just want to cover up this would be a good one to use in those areas but primers like these i'd normally use in my whole t-zone area so that's what i'm going to do now it's only a little thing but it has the same sort of effect as um, most silicone based primers that I use so it does dry down and sometimes it does leave a white cast on your face you can see how it's taking the shine away so I'm just doing it in the areas where I've got open pores yeah you can see it's just taking that shine away completely just pressing that stuff in I'm going to put it over the rest of my face as well so that leaves a very powdery feel we also got um, in one of the boxes this rose hair and body oil and we got this in which box let's have a quick look i got a feeling it might have been the asos august beauty box which i got this in but again i'll put the details above um right so it's a hair and body oil so i'm going to put a little bit of this in my hair and i'll just rub a little bit on my shoulders as well so let's have a look yep so it's a very runny oil um i'll tell you what it doesn't smell there's a slight hint of rose not much it smells more just like oil to be honest which is not that nice <laughs> if i'm being honest but i put some in my hair as well might as well i don't know what it's supposed to do what's it supposed to do i can't remember but it'll put some in i will be pulling my hair out in a moment so don't worry i'm not going to spend the rest of my day looking like this right so that's the oil okay now i'm going to put a little bit of foundation on now and then use some of the other products right now don't say anything i've got my foundation on and i'm just doing a little bit of baking whilst i'm doing the baking i thought i'd start on my brows so with the brow product the brow product i'm using is one we got in the um, look fantastic august box and it's from build brow bar and it was called the what's it called brow build gel um, looking inside the look fantastic booklet it said blink brow bar mini brow build Indian chocolate was the shade and they said give yourself the illusion of thicker fuller brows with this clever part gel part cream brow mascara this product will fill and color your eyebrows by attaching to brow hair 
by attaching to brow hair, helping to fill sparse areas and creating a fabulously full and voluminous, voluminous um, effect that will stay put all day or night long. Okay, so everyone knows I have no eyebrows. Let's try this product out anyway and see how we go. I never know how to put these products on. I don't know if I should do it like this or with the Benefit Brow Gel. What's it called? The, um, oh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Give me a brow. Um, that woman, Lisa Potter, what her name is, she says to go back and forth like this. But then their product hasn't got the extra fibres in. But you know what? This is actually kind of working. So let me continue doing that. It's just showing that I need to pluck my brows there. But you know what? This is working. Okay, cool. And I'll just do that. That's all right, actually. I wish it was black, but that's not bad, actually. Oh, I might buy the full size of this and get it in black. Now that I'm doing it by itself. So these videos with trying out the products Tell me what you think. Do you want me to do this every month, trying out the products from the beauty boxes that month? If you want me to do this every month, I will, and I'll do it at the end of each month when I can. But if not, I'll stick to just doing it every now and again. But I think it's actually quite a nice, personally, I think it's actually quite a good idea just to sort of see if these products work. See, I can never do both eyebrows the same. Look, that eyebrow actually looks all right. And then this one just looks weird. I don't know why I can't get it right. I think it's literally because this eyebrow natural shape is shorter. I kind of like this product, actually. I'm going to see if I can get this in the full size and get it in the black. And then I'm going to sort of experiment with that. But OK, this is a product I'm going to buy again. I'm going to go in with my Goof Proof Brow Pencil and just see if I can just give a little bit more colour. Yeah, this doesn't work well over it. It's almost like you put this on first and then you put that brow gel on afterwards. Then we have some eyeshadows. So the two eyeshadows I have got, well, three eyeshadows I've got. So I've got this one in the mop box. Now, this was actually in the July mop box, but I didn't open it until August, so I'm going to count it. <laughs> okay i've i've been wearing this and i've enjoyed this eyeshadow palette a lot i've really enjoyed it it's just been my kind of colors this is what it looks like so drop that on the floor so i've really enjoyed using that so that's been good but the products i want to use today is this one which we got in which box did we get this in right so we got this in the august glossy box so this is the three in a three in a eyeshadow and it's called the shadow paint so i'm interested to try this one out and they describe this as so it's a blue eyeshadow blue eyeshadow is back apparently um, vanessa hodgkins and chloe grace montez are just some celebrities rocking blue looks right now i don't know who they are so anyway we are loving this midnight blue cruelty free eyeshadow from free ina a brand to encourage self-expression through makeup highly pigmented long lasting and waterproof it's perfect whether you want a striking look or something more subtle apply with an angled brush to line your upper and lower lash line or apply all over the eyelid for a super bold look well i'm going to go for the super bold look today so i'm going to be wearing that and then also got this one this is from, I think it was called Dirty Little Secrets, DLS, and it was like a rose goldy kind of pink eyeshadow crayon. Um, I haven't got the card. I don't think I've got the card for this one still. I probably threw that away. So I'm going to be using these three products. Now, place these on. How I'm going to put them on, I have no idea, but let's have some fun. So I'm going to use this first and put down a base colour. Let's have a look. But I'm very boring, but I'm going to use this kind of brick colour here, which I've always, I've really liked this, using this as my sort of base transition colour. So I'm going to put that on first. They say to apply this eyeshadow paint with an angled brush. So I've just picked out two brushes, two clean brushes quickly. So it looks like that. I hope that's not too much. Probably is knowing me. But I'm just going to dab this on and see what it's like. I'm going to put a little bit on each eye. 
can see it's a nice blue so um okay smears and blends very easily so i think this is a color that you can build up right now that i know what it looks like i'm thinking i should have just gone just a little bit in or maybe just done it at the edges rather than a whole lid but i've done it now so right i'm going to build up the colors a little bit more on this bit here and see if i can go over the edges with another color it's actually quite tacky and i'll tell you what i'm thinking now but i gave it away and my daughter's got it so that means i'll never be able to find it but what i'm thinking in the i think it was the mop box there was a bag of glitter and i think that would have been really nice to put on my eyelids but i think my daughter took that away oh I'll, I'll shout her out see if she can find it for me i might put some of this on because this is tacky and i think it would kind of look cool to put that glitter on so whilst I'm waiting for her to bring that along, I'm going to just finish the rest of the eye and hopefully she will find it and I can put that glitter on. Because I think it would kind of look quite stunning just to put that on on the lid. But what do I know? Right, I'm going to use just a little bit more of this just to go around the edges here and up here. And then I'll use that shadow stick afterwards. So I'm just going to use some of this one up here. Just use this colour here. Just to go under my brows. Mm, no that's not an under brow kind of color really is it that's too dark for under the brows let's try another color let's try this one here mm, better let's try this Let's blend that out. We made a bit of a mess with that, but we'll see. We'll try and make it work. Put some of this on the corner. Making a right mess now. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm making a complete mess here. Right, come on, Gabby. Let's bring that glitter in. I want to play before this stops being tacky on my eyes. Yeah, I'm making a bit of a cock up of this, aren't I? See, this is what happens when you don't know what you're doing with makeup. Okay, right, so my daughter has come through with it. So this is the Glitter Army bag. We got this in the, it was the July mop box. So I'm going to try and put some of this on my eyes. I know I'm, I'm probably going to make a damn fool of myself, but you know what? <laughs> If you don't play you don't know do you i'm actually looking at these things now and i actually think they're too big of what am i doing but i'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway right so i need to put some of this back on again because it's all dry down now which is good to know to know that it does dry down and i'm just gonna put some of this on again and then see if i can put some of this stuff on it honestly i have no idea what i'm doing just remember i'm a 49 year old woman here and this is what i'm doing I shake my head at myself sometimes, I really do. But as I said, I'm not going anywhere today, so <laughs> it is a time to play. So I'm literally just gonna dab my finger in there, see what comes up. Okay, so that's what's on my finger. Let's we'll see what stays. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Disco Inferno. <laughs> Oh dear, right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Let me do the other eye. <laughs> okay, I look ridiculous, but hey, so what? It's a bit of fun, isn't it? It's a bit of fun. Right, let me um, finish off this look on my eyes. <laughs> see see what else I can do to screw it up. Right, where's that eyeshadow palette gone? All right, so back to this again. Um, and I am going to put on, I'll just put on this dark purple one underneath. Okay, I think I've played enough around with that. Let's put a little bit of eyeliner on. Right, I could use this as a bit of an eyeliner, so I'm going to do that on under my eyes. Just using a thin brush like this and just put it under my eyes. Mm. 
right says so that we did get a mascara in the month's box so i got look we got this we got um two faced better than sex mini mascara and we got this from august box it might have been the asos beauty box but i can't remember but again i'll put the details above on the screen so let's put this on getting glitter over the mascara look at that <laughs> so that's the eye look <laughs> how crazy does it look I think I look almost cross-eyed but look there you go that's the eye look using the products from the August Beauty Box right let's go on and have a bit of fun with the cheeks so cheek wise um I've got this so we've got this oh god what is it it's from Trifle Cosmetics and it was a lip and cheek jam see that let's focus on that there we go it's travel cosmetics lip and cheek jam and we got this in what box we got this in the glossy box so the august pride glossy box and what they say about this is this multitasking lip and cheek jam is the key to getting a healthy natural flush of color that will last up to 10 hours dab two tiny dots on the apples of your cheeks and lips then blend with your fingers keep it natural and nonchalant don't try to be too precise with the application you're looking for a youthful and vibrant look rest assured it's natural vegan friendly cruelty free and organic too all right good well, i haven't even opened this yet so um, let's try this out and see what we're going to do with it that's what it looks like mm gold help me right so let's put a little bit on my cheeks it's a two drops yep that doesn't show up on my skin at all let me see if i can put a little bit more on doesn't show up at all all right let's see what it's like on my lips all right that's a waste of time we'll, we'll get rid of this one um i'll give this to my daughter see if she wants it if not it's going in the bin because i'm not into keeping stuff like this around the house but it's just a waste of time nice idea but I don't need to say anything more do I right so what I'll use is a blush I've got a blush that I got in one of the other beauty boxes which I've been using recently which I kind of like let's find it it was this one can't remember which box we got it in but it's from Manica Door um, it was over a August I haven't got it in an August box so I got it in a July box let's get a blush because I've actually quite enjoyed using this now have it's in, it's in my everyday makeup bag so yeah this works fine for me it's got a little bit of a highlighting element to it as well and it's just nice it just gives me a, a sort of a nice glow yeah happy with that so that's fine now highlighters there were several i think if i remember correctly so we had this one which was in and we also got this from i don't know who that was from kaleido let me see if i can find it so some of the cards i've got rid of so i can't remember who i've got these products from so i apologize for that have a quick look again so i'm going to try one on one side of my face and one on the other see if it gives the better effect i like the color of this but i don't think it actually showed up that well on my skin but i'm gonna try it again see how we get on so just rub a little bit there oops too much and put some on I just like the colour, it's nice. Yeah, it does show up. You see that? Instant glow. I like that. So I'll just bring this up to up my temple a little bit and on top of her cupid bow. Yeah, I like this one. This is nice because it's a subtle one and it's a nice colour. 
it just sort of goes well on my skin tone so I, I like this one so there's that one and that was the Loritzi one which is I don't normally like anything by Loritzi but this I liked and then we had this one which was from Kaleido Cosmetics and they called it an Astrolite this did come from do, 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 do. this came from the August glossy box so we'll put some of this on right so we'll dab this on this side see what it looks like similar kind of color actually and it does go with the colors I'm wearing so I'm just going to dab it down my nose as well because I like a little bit of highlighter down my nose I might as well go for it shouldn't I Yeah, I didn't put this on very neatly, but you know how it goes. Ooh, this is pigmented. Oh my lord. Right, I need to rub some of this away. Lipsticks. Right, so we've got a couple of lipsticks. We've got these two. So we've got this one, CLE, and it's like a lip stain, melting lip powder. Yeah, this is a bit of nonsense, wasn't it? This was either Birch, I think this was a Birch Box item. I th think it was a bit of nonsense and then you got this one which was an incredible and we got this yeah so this one came in the look fantastic box and this came in I don't know but I think it was birch box I thought it was a little bit of nonsense but I'm gonna put some of this on see what this looks like so it was a I can't remember what it was I think it was liquid to powder or powder to liquid yeah it's supposed to be a liquid it's like a cream to powder Yeah, this is just a gimmicky piece of nonsense, really. Um, it gives a bit of a colour, but not the kind of thing I'd be bothering with. So that's going to go in the throw out pile. Let's try the Incredible. This is a glazing over, and this was in shade Vibes Tribe. Right, my niece is about to bust through the door. So it's all a little bit patchy, unfortunately. I'm just gonna, can you see that? It's all very patchy. Yeah, it's, so what, so uh, is it makeup? Yeah, right. So that's you putting on the makeup. <laughs> say hello. Say hello. 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 We can't see you. Say hello. Hello. hello hello right so that's trying on the makeup from the various beauty boxes now the thing i actually wanted to try out because we got this in the glossy box was these tattoos they're from rimmel and they're called ink me metallic sticker tattoo no idea how to do this um i'm going to see if i can find instructions remove clear sheet and press what and press decorated side onto your skin facing down please wet Place wet cloth firmly against the tattoo and hold for 30 seconds. Okay. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's see if this worked. <laughs> What's all that on my forehead? <laughs> you did it on too much. I've got too much on my forehead. I look like something out of Wakanda forever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wakanda. <laughs> so basically what we just did, I just put these and um, some of these stickers on our my forehead. Do you want to show your arm? We just put it on your arm, didn't we? Show your arm. Ooh, let's show your arm. Lift it up. Ooh. And can you see? So she's got it on her arm as well. All right. So I think I've gone a little bit too far with this on my forehead. I think I'm going to have everybody laughing at me later. Right, so finally, <laughs> I don't believe I've done this. But even my five-year-old niece is laughing at me here. So finally, I'm going to put some of the products I've got in my treasure dress on my, in my hair, pull out my hair, and it will show. <laughs> products I'm going to use on my hair. This is from the treasure dress. Oh, As you can see, it's literally, it's been used up already it's the cream of nature pure honey range which we got in the treasure dress box this month and i'm just going to put some of this not away leave-in detangler put this in my hair whilst i pull I'm it out so, so i'm going to put some of this product on now just rub some of that in my hair i have a clown right 
Right, so these are all the products from my August Beauty boxes. So I've used a good majority of the makeup products and skincare products from my August Beauty boxes. What do we think about the final look? I'm still laughing at all this on my forehead, but <laughs> if you're going to do it, just do it properly, hey? It's a proper, I would say, festival look going on here. Um, I think I'm a little bit old for all of this, but hey, it's a little bit of fun. Thankfully, I can wash it all off afterwards, but hey, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still laughing okay if you've used your products in your beauty boxes tell me what you've used what you've enjoyed using and what has been a bit of a disaster obviously there's a couple of products in those boxes I am going to be throwing away because they're just no use to me at all so but I think the majority of products I can use some of the products I've received in my beauty boxes I've given away so I've given to members of my family particularly my mother because I think a lot of the products she would really appreciate even though she did have a few words to say to me about the the titty lifter what was it called it was a boob cream from one of the boxes I can't remember which box it was but when I gave it to her she said to me I don't need this there's nothing wrong with my my titties I'm doing fine down there thank you very much and she was serious so yeah I think I might have made a mistake there but everything else she was happy about okay thank you very much for watching all right take care bye